Hello everyone, we're going to talk about the state of Ohio. So let's look at the pictures first. So the Buckeye State gets its nickname from a common tree in Ohio called a Buckeye and its nuts look like a deer's eye. Uh, that is a buck's eye. So they're darker and then they have the little lighter color on there. It's kind of cool looking, huh? View of the city of Cleveland from Lake Erie. I think it meant a view of the city. So there's Cleveland. It's one of the, I think, bigger cities of the state. <clears throat> Brandywine Falls in Cuyahoga Valley National Park. It's pretty. Ohio residents enjoy the Ohio and Erie Canal towpath trail. Beavers are able to live on land and in water. So I think they have quite a few. There's the flag. It's kind of interesting. It's <clears throat> I'm trying to think if the shape is this, it's not the typical rectangle, but it's kind of like a pennant with the stars circle in the center and kind of a V shape there. Yeah, so it's definitely unique. There are symbols, the state animals, the white-tailed deer, state bird cardinal, state flower red carnation and state quarter it says birthplace of aviation i can't read that i'm sorry well and that's because um we were talking about the wright brothers with north carolina that's where they're from so that probably could be the case as you can tell the cardinal we have seen already so you know there's no bird video Sorry to disappoint you. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Fast facts. And the nickname is the Buckeye State. Statehood 1803. It's the 17th state. Population as of July 2016 is 11,614,373. Capital is Columbus. The biggest city is Columbus. Abbreviation is OH. State bird carnal, state flower red carnation. History. Archaeologists know that people have lived in the land now called Ohio for at least 13,000 years. Thanks to discoveries such as some ice age ground sloth bones marked by human tools at least that old. Many thousands of years after these ancient hunters lived. Other Native American tribes including the Erie, Kickapoo, and Shawnee lived on the land. First known non-native person to reach the area was French explorer Robert de la Salle, who arrived around 1670. French fur traders followed and began to settle in the area, but in 1763 the British claimed the area after winning the French and Indian War. After the Revolutionary War ended in 1783, Ohio became part of the American territory. Ohio became the 17th state in 1803, the Ohio and Lake Erie Canal opened almost 30 years later and connected Lake Erie with the Ohio River. That made it much less expensive to ship goods from the east, so more settlers started arriving in the state. Most people from Ohio fought for the Union during the Civil War. Those who were against the war and refused to fight were called copperheads because they were thought of as poisonous snakes lying in wait to attack in favor of the South. Why is it called that? No one is sure where Ohio's name came from, but some experts think it comes from the Iroquois word oyo, which means roughly the Great River, and refers to the Ohio River. The river is formed in present-day Pennsylvania, where the Iroquois lived. The Buckeye State gets its nickname from a common tree in Ohio called a buckeye. Its nuts look like a deer's eye, that is a buck's eye, which we saw earlier. There are the symbols and the flag, again. 
Geography and landform. So where is it located? It's right here. So definitely still towards the eastern side of our country. So Ohio is bordered by Michigan <clears throat> and Lake Erie in the north. Pennsylvania and West Virginia in the south. Oh, excuse me, I skipped. Let me try that again. <laughs> Pennsylvania and West Virginia in the east. So here and here. And then Kentucky and West Virginia in the south. So West Virginia kind of wraps down. And then here's Kentucky and then Indiana in the west. State is mostly made up of plains but it can be divided into five geographical regions. The Northern Great Lakes Plains region is a fertile lowland, while the Lake Erie shoreline has sandy and clay beaches, tall clay bluffs, and sand dunes that run along the shore. The Till Plains is a large area in the west and center of the state that's also very fertile. In fact, so much corn grows there that it's considered the beginning of America's corn belt. The lowland region contains the highest point in Ohio, Campbell Hill, but it's not even high enough to be considered a mountain. The Appalachian Plateau is Ohio's largest region and covers almost the entire eastern half of the state. It's also the state's most rugged area with high hills and plunging valleys. The Bluegrass region is a small area in the south with steep cliffs and deep valleys. Sinkholes and caves dot the, the land. You can also see the Five Mile Serpent Mound meteor crater, which scientists think could have been formed by a meteor crash millions of years ago. That'd be cool to see. Wildlife. There's that cute little beaver. Um, so you can obviously see black bears, coyotes, bobcats, American beavers, and white-tailed deer, the state animal, are some of Ohio's most common mammals. Ring-necked pheasants, wild turkeys, great horned owls, red-headed woodpeckers, blue jays, and American robins are among the approximately 350 species of birds spotted throughout the state. Ohio's reptiles include the black racer, a non-venomous snake that's also the state reptile. Other reptiles here include Lake Erie water snakes and woodland box turtles. Amphibians like western chorus frogs, red spotted newts, and American toads all hop through the state. Beech, aspen, pawpaw, box elder, American elm, and slippery elm are a few common trees that grow in Ohio. The state is also filled with wildflowers including multiple types of phlox, trillium, aster, and wild lily. Natural resources. Besides Ohio's fertile soil, the state is also known for coal, natural gas, and rock salt called halite. <clears throat> Mined from beneath Lake Erie, <clears throat> the state produces about 5 million tons of the salt a year. Fun stuff. Pawpaw is an edible tree fruit that grows in Ohio and has its own festival every year. I think they talk about it if you ever watch the Disney Jungle Book. Doesn't Baloo sing about pawpaw? Just like a fruit that he has from the jungle. Just a thought. Seven U.S. presidents were born in Ohio. Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, William H. Taft, and Warren G. Harding. That's a lot of them. Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is filled with music artifacts like Elvis Presley's car, Jimi Hendrix's couch, and John Lennon's glasses. The Ohio and Erie Canalway is a national heritage site that stretches 110 miles. Visitors can drive it, hike it, or take the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad, a three-hour trip with stops along the way. That'd be cool. Koreon Historical Park in Dayton is a complex of historical buildings and museums that include a bell tower, a one-room schoolhouse, a covered bridge, a grist mill, a 1930s-style cafeteria, and a carousel celebrating Dayton factories in companies where visitors can ride on a giant bag of potato chips. That would be interesting. At Cincinnati's National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, visitors can learn about the Underground Railroad, a network of people who helped bring American slaves to freedom in the early to mid-1800s. 
that would be cool to see. So there's definitely a lot of fun things you can see in Ohio. But that is it. No bird video. So I hope that you learned a little more about Ohio. And I will be showing you more about it in our 50 States book.